Hi, I'm Dr. Edunandan. Uh, I'm basically a veterinarian. So, post that, I did my MBA from Stockholm University, an international MBA. Then, so I did some internships with Air France and other stuff. The post that, like, I came back to India and uh, had a the corporate journey, you know, with some of the pharmaceutical industry in, uh, in Bangalore, taking care of some of the Asian markets. So, post that, uh, the entrepreneurship bug in my mind like no, it's came to life in 2011. So that's where I started off the, the company called Jayco Hospitality Ventures Private Limited. And uh, the brand uh, rolls on with it has started. I, I worked a couple of years in in corporate world. Then uh, post that what I uh, did like, see I used to extensively, I, I used to travel a lot all over the world, you know, on my work journey. So there's a lot of time like I used to spend in airports for hours together. Then I used to watch a lot of you know, the food joint is there, like, you know, how they operate, like, you know, the open kitchen concepts and other things. Uh, that's where something was, you know, I was thinking of, like, you know, something we had to do it in the, you know, F&B segments or retail and other things. So, when I resigned my job after, you know, working for four to five years and I wanted to start off something in the Indian QSR segment, that's what I just I was going through. So, what is the cuisine which can suit in? So, I was exploring some of the burger brands, you know, sandwiches, some franchises we can do and everything. But I found out that... Uh, in, in a role segment which is more you know more likely or uh, more attached to the Indian because like eating chapatis, rotis and other things are it's a very common staple food whether it's a South Indian or North Indian. So obviously Kati rolls you know originated from Kolkata that was there. So when I looked at that that time there was a company called Kati Zone they were already were there. If you leave that one that was very at, at the higher premium end. So if you leave that only we used to see like now some of the Kati rolls at the roadside. So there were the hygiene and other things was missing. So I thought like probably I think we are missing away, you know, the bigger gap. Like now that's where I found the, you know, problem. So some mid segments where people can afford uh, that kind of segments we can enter in. That's where, the, you know, the role concept of Rolls on Wheels came in, where we wanted to do a yeah, like now very a smaller outlets or kiosk models where we can, from a centralized kitchen, we can make some of the products and items and other things. So we can do more of hygienic, tasty and consistent product at the close. That's where in 2011, February, we launched. So initial concept was to expand the old rolls on wheels in a kiosk concept. But slowly we realized that demand was very high and we couldn't able to survive you know, only in you know, the kiosk model. Slowly we moved into a brick and mortar. So if you look at our store size, where it's from as small as 200 to 1000 square feet, very few we have a like dining concept, but we, we have to be like, we want to be like in a, uh, in terms of like, um, uh, stores level at a 300 to 400 square feet of our outlet is very common where we'll have a very few seatings are only takeaway outlets and other stuff so poster that was like last 13 years like we kept on doing like mainly we are operating in Bangalore uh, now with the new investments came in from the cure foods and other things we are planning to expand pan India Bangalore market in terms of food like you now you know it's very cosmopolitan that's a lot of floating population a lot of IT crowd so more than a crore population in that like 35, 40, 30 lakhs, 35 lakhs is, uh, you know, contributed to IT. IT means like, see, all over the, the world, all over the India, like, you know, people comes there, like, you know, their, their cuisine preferences is different. So one thing what I've seen in Bangalore as a, you know, native Bangalorean is like, any food you introduce, you know, people give you a chance. Like, you know, people come and try, like, whether it's a North Indian, South Indian, Eastern, whatever you do. So people want to try out, like, it's not restricted to something like, you know, okay, North Indian, uh, some food outlet is open, like only the North Indian will come and try. See, it's not the case, like when the South Indian people try. See, from the, that first call, probably like you know, making them to visit repeated customers, that depends on your, you know, taste, quality, hygiene and other things. But Bangalore as such, like what I've seen, like even if it's a small street food outlet or something, it's in you know, a very dining outlet, people will flock. So that's one thing is there and uh, since a lot of floating population is there, obviously the demand is there. Even that is justified by Swiggy and Zomato Rota as well. So Bangalore is the highest number of orders they deliver compared to the, you know, anything else. So next is Delhi and then is Mumbai. So Bangalore stands out top in, in terms of food orders. See, comparatively, yeah, uh, Bangalore is, as I said, like in terms of orders, volumes and other things, is a very, very big market for us. So we do around close to 75-80,000 orders a 
uh, in a month in Bangalore, I don't know. And uh, just to give a small brief, like uh, Rolls on Wheels is our uh, major brand, which contributes 75 percent of the you know revenue. And we have one Dhone Biryani style brand uh, for the Bangalore. Normally, just like the Hyderabadi Biryani, like you know, people love Dhone Biryani in Karnataka. And we have a Shawarma brand. Those are the three. They just contribute to 25 percent. Bangalore, okay, we we are looking at like the orders to go up to up to 1.3, 1.4 lakhs next one year. That's going to be our biggest market. Uh, Hyderabad, uh, we have, you know, very bigger aspirations uh, there, but it may not be as big as Bangalore, uh, but probably we'll be looking at around close to 15 plus outlets in Hyderabad in next six months time. That will be a combination of uh, cloud kitchens, hybrid models, hybrid means high streets, like say take your iTech city or, you know, Gachipoli or something, iTech city, those places like I mean the high streets will do. And also, we are also looking at the tech box and the malls as well. So this will be a combination of all the thing. And probably we will be doing only the rolls on wheels and the shower on wheels because the Dhone Biryani style brand which we run in Bangalore may not fit here because of people preference for Hyderabad Biryani, this Basmati rice is more, more here. So normally before entering any of the cities like you know, this year we have a plans for Hyderabad as well as Chennai. So looking at that, we come with a lot of data. So when we talk to like, we have a dedicated people in Swiggy and Zomato, like we, we see, so before entering Hyderabad, like we know like now which are the areas which do a higher number of orders. See, the one, one astonishing thing is like more than the rolls is that shawarma sells a lot. So that's the data like now we got it from Swiggy and Zomato. So particularly we make out that zones and we'll try to find a place there and like uh, start off the work. We are very consistent in terms of the product, in terms of taste, quality or something. That's thanks to our centralized kitchen, Bangalore. We, our complete model works on the urban spoke model. So we have a 7,200 square feet centralized kitchen in Bangalore. And 95% of all the ingredients, whatever we do, like uh, you know, the fillings and other things in our this one, it's all done by centralized kitchen. Only few things like we have under like the frozen products like from ITC and other things with a very now like McCain fries. So those kind of the things we procured from outside. Otherwise, if you look at like every day we produce more than 6,000 parotas, which is completely done by our central edge kitchen, complete automated line. Uh, we have capacity to you know do it another per day 15,000 uh, parotas daily in, in the same facility. And all our fillings, whatever we do, that might be chicken, veg or whatever, it's all done by central edge kitchen, pre-packed and from the cold chain vehicle, it's moved to the our point of sales, wherever like our outlets are there. So it's complete from the uh, Procurement of materials, you know, the input, the, whatever the input materials is very important, like, you know, if you have a good output product and also the chef, uh, the preparation processes, storage processes in terms of, uh, you know, uh, cold chain, checking, you know, maintaining the cold chain activities till you reach this one. Everything is managed by our own. So there is no flaw, like we don't depend on someone on, the, you know, the secondary or, you know, other people so that we maintain the entire value chain. So that's where our products, you can bet on the hygiene, the quality and consistency across the stores. So if you eat one a roll in one of the outlets, you try it in another line, you don't see any of the differences. Hyderabad, we are looking between 15 to 20 in the next six months time, as I said uh, in earlier. Uh, mainly, yeah, the new Hyderabad, like you are the iTech city, Gachipoli, Gondapu, this area is the, the major concentrate what we look at. So probably they will, uh, that's also like we are looking at more of uh, high street uh, ones. And also we're targeting the tech box there. And also few cloud kitchens also will come up. Other than that, like slowly we will expand it to all the residential areas, which is done. You see, Hyderabad, see first of all, like for my, before when I used to work, so I have a lot of friends here, like I used to come to Hyderabad very often. It's not very new to me, like I know the areas very well. Business, yeah, business obviously like, you know, I'm, I, we are also very uh, excited to, you know, uh, to part of this, uh, the great uh, Hyderabad. Last few years, if you look at Hyderabad, has grown a lot. Like, you know, I'm very happy to see so many flyovers, so many infra improvements and other things. Uh, even the, your, you know, the IT ups, like uh, T ups and other things they're making. Really, that's 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 software. Like, uh, at present, we we uh, calculate around 10 lakhs of IT employees working in Hyderabad compared to 30, 35 lakhs in Bangalore. But I, I see next four, five years, probably, you know, that number matching Bangalore. I'm not surprised. So. We want to make you know, proper plans and other things, so we need to expand. Like We look at like Hyderabad as a very long-term uh, a profit-oriented market. I was, see, I, I know, uh, you know, when it started, like, you uh, know, I'm, I'm into the poetry because initially there is a lot of poetry meetings and other things, you used to do the lives and other things and all. Uh, now you are expanding to a lot of other industries. I've seen a lot of interviews in uh, TV and other things. 
it's I'm I'm really great like you now the kind of work you guys are doing like you know, creating the awareness and you know passing off uh, of the industry information to the a uh, lot of people and setting that especially like you now when I when we do a lot of conferences and other things like you know, live that's yeah, everyone can't make it to the you know physically they want to be there in the uh, stores but so because of IBS you know thanks to IBS like you now that's a live telecast and other things that's making people you know sitting at their comfort of home and you know watching the things uh, I wish all the best and like you know, keep doing the good work in future also keep spreading the good news I'm uh, Dr. Gopal Reddy. Uh, I'm a veterinarian, but uh, I'm very passionate about uh, food industry. As you know, we have food and then we do everything. Um, I'm very happy to represent uh, Rolls on Wheels so Telangana, Hyderabad, lo represent Chestunanandi. Uh, Rolls on Wheels, so Bangalore, lo no, I'm a consumer also and I know the founder also. Chala Manchi brand in Bangalore, lo, most loved uh, the food ba brand in Bangalore. So, I'm sure uh, the Hyderabadis will love this and uh, uh, I also love to uh, invite uh, anybody who would like to uh, join us in this uh, exciting journey uh, both as a, a talent and also as franchises so they can uh, contact me na email id undandi ikkada meeru nanni contact cheyochu i guarantee that you know you will have a uh, enjoyable great uh, journey in our uh, whatever agenda we have whatever objectives we have for telangana region in uh, general but in particular for hyderabad we know that hyderabad is uh, love good food uh, we are very confident that Rolls on Wheels uh, will be a big brand uh, coming uh, in coming days in Hyderabad. I have any questions on my email ID. I have any questions on my email ID. I have any questions on my email ID. Rest assured, uh, the exciting times are ahead. I am sure you love our brand here.